Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at the brand new trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's DLC, The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. This was shown off in Nintendo's latest Direct, and it was an insane Direct. So many brand new games got announced, so many ports and remakes of beloved old Nintendo games, and they led off the show with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But they also showed us very clearly that we are nearing the end of the Nintendo Switch life cycle. And one of the things that is going to highlight the end of this life cycle is the final big push for Scarlet and Violet. Let's talk about it. Now, prior to this Nintendo Direct, there was a lot of controversy in the Nintendo community about what we were getting for the Switch at the end of this year. Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, the biggest Zelda game ever, in my opinion, came out last May, and it was and probably is going to be the biggest Nintendo game published on the Switch at the end of its life cycle. We are still waiting on games like Metroid Prime 4, which were announced and then restarted development later in its life. And we're still waiting on a game like that to come out. But with how long it's been, a lot of people believe that that game is probably going to be on the next Nintendo console and maybe not even on Switch at all, although they could do what they did with The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild in 2017 and release it on the Wii U and the successor console, the Nintendo Switch. But regardless, that was pretty much what we had. We had Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's DLC, and we had Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Those were the big heavy hitters for the year. There are smaller Nintendo published and developed titles coming out this year, namely Pikmin 4 comes out next month, and that is going to sell well for a Pikmin game. It is going to sell well and probably will end up selling the most copies of any Pikmin game in the franchise because it's on Switch, but Pikmin 4 is not a system seller. So a lot of people were asking, what is going to sell Nintendo systems at the end of this year? Before this Direct, it was Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's DLC. We're getting it in two parts, and it's going to start at the end of this year and probably finish at the very end of the calendar year, maybe in November or December, although it does seem like there's a chance that part two of the DLC gets pushed into next year. But now that the Direct has come and gone, we have a bunch of new games that are coming on the Switch this year. A remake of Super Mario RPG is coming in the fall, a brand new 2D Mario game with a gorgeous new 2D art style and just a very weird vibe in Super Mario Bros. Wonder. This is a big lineup of Nintendo titles, but it's still ports, it's still remakes, it's still 2D Mario. We are very surely reaching the end of the Nintendo Switch's life cycle. The Nintendo Switch came out March of 2017. It is now halfway through 2023. We're going to get a new Nintendo console sooner rather than later. If that's the beginning of the next calendar year or if it's fall of next year, regardless, this is where Nintendo's focus is going to shift. Certain games like the brand new Princess Peach game and the Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon port, which were announced at this Direct and coming next year, could still come out on Switch, but there is a world where these games get pushed, at least in my opinion, to the next Nintendo console. There is a world where the next generation of Pokemon almost assuredly comes on the next console. And whether or not the next console is a Switch 2 with backwards compatibility and you can take your whole Switch library and still play it, that remains to be seen. But we are moving full steam ahead to a brand new Switch. The Direct was awesome. The Direct revealed a ton of great new games. So many games that I'm going to be playing. Pikmin 1 and 2 getting ported to the Nintendo Switch and getting a physical copy in September is something that I, is a highlight for me as someone who really hasn't dipped uh, my toe into the Pikmin franchise, so that's going to be something I'm testing out as well as Pikmin 4 when it comes out. But the biggest title still on the docket for Nintendo this year is Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Super Mario Bros. Wonder might sell a ton of copies. It'll almost assuredly sell over 10 million. It'll probably sell over 15 million. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is well over 20 million and still selling, and when it gets its DLC updates at the end of this year, the number of people buying Scarlet and Violet are is also going to go up. Scarlet and Violet is in the top 5 of all time in terms of Pokemon game sales, and Pokemon game sales on the Nintendo Switch litter its top 5 and its top 10. Pokemon is the 
biggest franchise on the Nintendo Switch. And Scarlet and Violet, outside of the criticisms that are mostly deserved of its graphical performance, its frame rate performance, its glitchiness, Everybody seems to also agree that there is a genuinely good game behind there. There is a good time under the surface. And a game like that getting a major update with brand new Pokemon, brand new areas to explore. In my opinion, as a Pokemon fan, so I might be a little bit biased, but from the eye of someone who is watching Nintendo sales and watching what they do next, Scarlet and Violet's DLC, which we got a nice look at in this trailer, as I covered in a previous video, I'll put a card in the corner right now if you guys want to go check that video out, is still the biggest game. And it doesn't have a release date yet. Now, before going any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out the join tab. See if the perks interest you. And if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that is also always greatly appreciated. We're probably going to get one at Worlds in August or shortly thereafter in a Pokemon Presents or in a trailer in September. That's usually when Pokemon likes to do their big trailers for these things. But we're going to get it and it's going to be major. And that will beg the question and we will address this at the end of the year. What's going to come next? What's Pokemon's next title on the Nintendo Switch? We've gotten a ton of games on the Switch, if you go back and look at it. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee, which people seem to appreciate more as time goes on. Pokemon Sword and Shield and its DLC expansion the following year during COVID, which was a bit messy. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, remakes of Diamond and Pearl, which sold well outside of fan criticisms. They did sell. Pokemon Legends Arceus, which has tons of praise by non-Pokemon fans and Pokemon fans alike. And that was an experimental title, which had a very odd release date in conjunction with Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. We've had bevies of side games, Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon Tournament DX, uh, download titles like Pokemon Unite, Pokemon Cafe Remix. There's a ton of Pokemon content on the Switch. So when you're looking into the future and you're looking into 2024, what game are we going to get? And will it be on the Nintendo Switch? If we have a new Nintendo console coming out next fall, let's say it's Switch 2. Let's say it's an iterative, brand new, more souped up Switch with, a, with better hardware, better software, hopefully, better UI, better battery life, generally moving its performance closer to what modern consoles are. It'll never be what modern consoles are because Nintendo is almost always a step behind whatever Xbox and PlayStation are doing. Are we going to get that Pokemon game on the Nintendo Switch? Or is it going to be a launch title for Nintendo's next console? Will Pokemon Legends Johto <laughs> or a brand new generation be what comes next and I don't see a world where that's on the Switch I also don't see a world where Pokemon would start a brand new console generation with a remake I don't see a world where a iterative title on an originally experimental title in Legends Arceus whether it's a Legends Johto game of some kind Legends Celebi, or a Legends Unova game of some kind, Legends Curum. I don't see that being a launch title. So what's it going to be? What's it going to be? Nintendo is in the heyday of the Switch. We are nearing the end. There isn't a ton left. We're going to get games, Nintendo, now that they have merged their 3DS and their handheld and their home console divisions, we're not going to have a massive drought of games. That is clear. People were wrong. I was wrong about that before the Nintendo Direct. But we're still nearing the end. Pokemon is still a headliner. And what Pokemon decides to do next year is going to be involved in the plans Nintendo has for its next console. I would be absolutely stunned if we're sitting here this time next year and we do not already know about or have Nintendo's next console. And we will know what Pokemon title is going to be on that console. Whether it's backwards compatible and it's a Switch release, the last big Pokemon Switch release that we can then play on our Switch 2, or if it's a launch title for the Nintendo Switch 2. 
That's what we're looking at right here. And that's what Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC signifies. It is the last big major game push for one of Nintendo's core pillar titles on their system. And we're going to it's going to be interesting. It's going to be really fun to see. So what do you guys think? about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's DLC. What do you think about the future of the Nintendo Switch? I would love to hear what you think down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on so you never miss any future content. I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.